Hey everybody, I just want to take a quick moment to talk about a bonehead mistake I just made. Well, I actually made it a while ago, but I almost just made another possibly disastrous mistake, but I caught myself just in time. Uh, I noticed that the filter in my brackish tank here was not really circulating the water very much. It sounded funny, it didn't sound like it was running right. And so I shook it a few times, thinking maybe there was a bubble caught in it. Sometimes you'll get like a vapor lock and nothing. So as I started doing the water change, I decided it's, you know, obviously time to service the filter. And when I got down underneath and began looking at the filter, I noticed that the little valve was still closed. So the last time I did a water change on this tank and serviced this filter, which was quite a while ago, I never opened the valve back up. So this thing literally has been sitting here probably for months just spinning and circulating water around inside itself without actually flowing back into the tank. I don't remember when I did this, but it clearly it couldn't have been too long ago and it couldn't have been the last time I serviced this filter because this filter, uh, I don't remember the last time I serviced this filter. It's been months. So... I'm not sure when I opened that or uh, closed that valve and did any work on this tank, but it, apparently it's been closed like that for long enough that I don't remember it, put it that way. So anyway, that was the mistake I made. Fortunately, I'm medicating the tank right now, so I've got an air stone in there, which has given me gas exchange and circulation and everything, so the filter not running at the moment uh, did not cause any issues. But the mistake I almost made was the fact that once I saw that that valve was closed, I said, oh, there's your problem, and I opened the valve. And as soon as I opened the valve and the water began flowing, I realized what I'd done, and I closed it again. Um, again, I don't know how long that water's been sitting inside that filter, but I can guarantee you I do not want whatever's inside that filter getting in this tank. And I just went ahead and, you know, began to open that valve and let that start flowing again. But as I said, I caught myself right as soon as I did it. A little bit of cloudy stuff did gurgle out of the uh, spray bar there, but I shut it down immediately. And now the filter's unplugged and it's about to get pulled apart and cleaned out and fully serviced uh, in the other room. And this time I will be sure to remember to open the valve so the water can flow again. I really, I honestly do not have any idea when I did that. It couldn't possibly be from the last time I did a water change because that air stone's only been in the tank for about two weeks and I know that the tank didn't sit here for months with no circulation at all uh, without me noticing it. So I don't, again, I just don't know when I got in there and did it, but at some point I opened that valve or closed that valve. Um, you know, I pulled that little flap open, which is closing the valve. Uh, if you've ever dealt with one of those filters, you know what I mean. Um, so anyway, there you go. I caught myself, but, you know, it was a close one. And again, without having that secondary air stone going in the tank, that could have been disastrous all the way around. So live and learn. You know, I keep making mistakes, but I'll always share them with everybody. So hopefully you can learn from my little uh, brief oversight there. So thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you real soon in the next one. All right, everybody, now that I've had some time to actually assess the situation, I got in there and did some emergency tank maintenance. It's a wonder any of my fish are still alive after all the stupid boneheaded mistakes I make all the time. That filter, when I got inside there, was kind of dirty, but it was only kind of dirty because it had been closed up with warm water just kind of in there for I don't know how long. But when I got down to the bottom, the uh, mechanical filter at the bottom, the thick pad, it was clean. I, I never turned that back on from the last time I did a water change. So this tank has literally been sitting here for probably months with no filtration going at all. I don't have a power head in this tank. I didn't have an air stone nothing this was just basically a stagnant tank until i put this air stone in here and the reason i put the air stone in there was because i was medicating the tank because my puffer butter bean had a buggered up eye it was all cloudy and puffy and now that i'm thinking about it, it's no wonder it was a non-filtered tank that was just sitting here for 
again, I don't know how long it's been since I've done a, a you know water change on this tank where I actually got in there and worked on the filter. I do water changes rarely enough, and the times that I get in there and actually do any work on the filter in this tank are very rare so when i got in there the filter itself was really really warm and the water inside of it was like bath water so i mean it's literally just been sitting there and the impeller was spinning in water so it wasn't sitting in there dry but it was just sitting in there spinning and not actually moving any water anywhere it was just moving the same water around and around and around and it just got warmer and warmer so by the time I got done doing the water change and I did a really big water change, I put some salt water back in the tank and we got the tank all nice and good and cleaned up. I wiped the glass down. Uh, everybody in there should be doing well. I even remedicated the tank because Butterbean's eyes still a little cloudy, but it is getting better. Uh, it probably started getting better the moment I put the air stone in there and started circulating the water around in the tank. Uh, I checked the water in the filter and it had no ammonia at all. It didn't smell bad. So that's another indicator that when I did the filter maintenance the last time, I always fill it up, you know, with the bucket and, and get the filter full of water. So when I close it up, it's not real hard to get started again. So I'd filled it with clean water, closed it up, and I never closed that valve or I never opened the valve. You know, I closed that little flap down that opens the valve on the inside and lets the water flow. I put the thing in the top of it and then stuck it back up on the shelf, I guess assuming I would go ahead and get to it later. I also realized while I was in there that even though I drained the water down to about here, my heater never came on. And so I checked and my heater's not plugged in. So not a big deal on that one, but this is a tank I keep a heater in just in case, you know, and apparently on that last water change when I worked on the filter and everything, I must have done a large enough water change that I unplugged the heater as well. Once you get below a certain point, you don't want that heater, um, you know, exposed to the air while it's still plugged in. So a little water change, I don't worry about it, but if I'm doing a big water change, I always make sure I unplug my heater. And so that big water change that I got in there and worked on the filter and everything, I must have unplugged the filter and the heater at the same time and never, you know, I plugged the filter back in. It was running. I just never closed, again, never opened that valve to get it flowing again and left the heater unplugged for who knows how long, months it's been. So fish are tougher than a lot of people give them credit for. I'll give them that. Um, Butterbean's been with me since the very beginning and you know in the beginning you make a lot of mistakes like this and you do a lot of things that aren't necessary or too many water changes or not enough water changes so a lot of my earlier fishes that have went through my learning curve uh, you know it really surprises me that any of them have still hung on and I do still have several fish that are back from my very early days of fish keeping 10 or 12 years ago and Butterbean's one of them Butterbean's probably about 10 years old now I guess yeah, maybe nine something like that um, but there you go. I, again, I just, I don't know how, you know, making mistakes like that. I just don't know how any of my fish have survived for the 10 or 12 years that any of them have survived, uh, let alone, you know, the, the overall success I have with most of my tanks most of the time. So thanks for watching. I hope that's a lesson to all of us of just pay attention. It's really, really easy to overlook some stupid little thing and it could lead to disaster. Again, how it didn't, I don't know. Uh, I usually have a, a sort of backup in most of my tanks, either uh, a power head that keeps the water flowing or an air stone or something so that the filter doesn't work. There's still some kind of backup circulation. This tank has none of that. Uh, this tank with that filter, it was literally just a stagnant tank. So how those fish survived, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. So anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful. Make sure you're subscribed. I'll see you real soon in the next one.